Hello everyone. Uh, I want to give a quick demo of the electronic soccer scoreboard. So I'll just kind of go over all the different uh, things that we see on the screen and then I'll just kind of run through a sequence of, of how it works. So initially you need to um, uh, put in some team names uh, to populate the roster. Um, you don't have to put in the names of the players, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, load my rosters uh, with a preloaded um, roster tool that I have. Um, I have Everton and Liverpool built in. And so what you need to have at a minimum is the team rating, defense rating obviously. You need to put in your players and their positions so that you can determine the defensive adjustment and of course the, the formation for each team. And so that's so all the algorithms that are performed in the background uh, sorting through um, to find the appropriate uh, result to provide to you are accurate based on um, Mark's charts. I have this preloaded, I'll hit set lineups. It'll put in the names of my players and their positions it puts in the team's ratings, defensive ratings, um, all automated. So we're going to start off uh, with 442 for both teams. You can even choose the team colors for each team. And I'll choose blue for Everton and red for Liverpool. And hit the clipboard to close this page and go back to the scoreboard. So on both sides, uh, for the visiting team, Liverpool, you have their roster over here. And for the home team, Everton, you have their roster here. The player ID will come up here. It'll say player 1 through 10 here. And if you scan in your cards, like I have, the actual player card will come up here. But you don't have to do that. You can play and just get the player ID 1 through 10 and refer to the cards um, on your desktop. Uh, there's an automated dice roll area here, so you can roll the dice. The soccer ball is the possession, indicates possession. So if I want to change possession, I'll click on the soccer ball, and it'll move it to the other team. Um, these are to change the ball to the different zones, A, B, C, D, E, F, X. Um, these are to bring up charts. Uh, this is to take a shot on goal. Uh, if you want, if you've made a goal, to register a goal. And if I go back over here to the clipboard, your goals will be kept here in the game scoring recap area. It'll tell you what player and what minute. Uh, when you have a defense result, it'll provide that result automatically. Um, it'll go through the proper uh, formula and algorithms for that. This is to bring up the fast action card. And this is to bring up the special chart. So to start a game, I typically bring up my fast action card. And you can use this for multiple things because each area is um, created on the fly. So it's not like one card is the same um, for every one of these. Each one is individualized. So you can use it more than once. So I usually start off with a kickoff. And basically, on my fat card, I have player ID. I have a foul ID, miss shot, kickoff, goal kick, throw in, uh, goalkeeper outlet, indirect kick, direct kick, and corner kicks. Most of the things you see on the screen uh, you can click on and it will take away a lot of the mundane tasks and chart lookups. So I'm going to do a kickoff and you can see the result is, also, is already going to be um, to the E area and it will change possession. So. Um, Basically, we just changed possession. Everton now has the ball in E. You can see E is highlighted. Mark's chart comes up with E column highlighted for the zone. And you have your dice roll here. You also have um, the points, the adjustment for the area, E being a minus three for shots. And you also have your loose ball result. At any time, you can use this for your loose ball result. And the result you'll get here is either play on, meaning there's no turnover, or turnover. And you can see that you can click on it. So if there was a turnover, I could click on this and it would actually change possession to the other side automatically for me and go to the um, appropriate zone.
that is picked via the algorithm. So this is a roll of 44, and we'll go to player number two's card, 44. You can see it's a 5, and 5 is a shot. So I'm going to click on the dice to do my shot. 41 is outside his shot rating. So I'm going to go to my fact, and I can click on the fact button here. I can click on the fact button here, or I can hit Q on the keyboard to bring up the fact. And there it is. Missed shot, off defender, corner kick. We'll use a corner kick rating of C in this case. So corner kick C, I'll click on this. It's a pass to B. I'll just click right on it, and we have a pass to the B zone, just like that. We have the new player ID, and we have 44 for the dice roll. 5, again, it's another shot. So I will click on the dice for the shot roll. 22 is well within the shot on goal rating, especially in a plus 3 zone. So I will click on shot on goal. Brings up the goalie card, goalkeeper card, with a new roll of 42. And it's a result of one. The goalkeeper save chart has come up. And the shot is caught. It's a goalkeeper throw in. So I will go to my fact. Uh, for throw in, for goalkeeper, I use the outlet. You can see we have an automatic change of possession to the E zone. The other team's card come up. We have a roll of 66 on Sterling's card, which is a 1. So right now we have a, uh, a result in the E column of A1. So I'm going to click on the A column to bring it to the A zone. Now what will happen is the algorithm will automatically pick um, based on the proper uh, um, defensive ratings and formations. It'll pick a player ID. Um, if you want to use A1, you can do that. You can bring up the A1 card. You can bring up the one card. Or you can just go with what it returns. Let's see what player it returns when I click on A. It goes to 4, Gerard. But if I wanted one, if you want to go strictly by your charts, you just hit 1 on the keyboard, and it'll go to player 1. I typically just let it go, because it's the same algorithm as your charts, um, basically and I just let it pick the one that it comes up with. But if you want it to be specifically what stayed on the chart, then you would just hit A and 1 on your keyboard. So Sterling's up. We have a roll 54, and that's a 50. So that's a special uh, chart. I'll bring up special. <clears throat> Give it a roll. 62. Giveaway by offense in midfield loose to, leads to counterattack chance. Use loose ball chart. If defense wins, Random defense player gets a shot, unassisted, else offense recovers in area X. So we have our loose ball over here. It is a turnover. So a defensive player uh, will get a free shot, and I'll just go with whatever player. So it's a loose ball turnover. All I'm going to do is click on this. We have a change of possession. We have the player ID, and his shot number is 34. It's outside, so it's a missed shot. So I'll bring up my fact. Miss shot off defender corner kick. We'll go with a corner kick of C. It's a pass to B. So I just click right on that. We have our pass to B. Our new player ID, 42, is a 43. And that's a header B. So I'll click on B as B zone. We have our new roll, 35. The loose ball says play on. So it was not a turnover. 35 is 31. It's a pass to D. To pass the D, 35, it's a 42, so it's a header D. So I'll click on D, check my loose ball result, it says play on, that means it's not a turnover. We have a result of 37, and that's a defense check. Click on defense, we have a stolen F, all I need to do is click on it. Changes possession to F, a new card comes up, 24. That is 38, which is a header B. Click B, check my loose ball, it says play on. 63 is a 48. So we have foul committed. I'm going to bring up my fact. Foul ID is 6. So I want to check that foul ID player's card 
and see if it's a, a red or yellow card. And the way you do it is just click on the file ID of six, and what it's going to do is bring up Barry's card right here for about five seconds with a new role, and we'll be able to reference whether he gets a red or yellow card. And then it will go right back to Henderson's card for any potential shot, like we have a direct shot coming up right here for the direct kick result. We have a shot coming up. So anyway, let me check the foul on Barry. You can see his card comes up. We have a 56. It's not in his yellow card rating. It goes back to Henderson. We have a direct shot, direct kick result of shot. So I'm going to roll the dice for the shot for Henderson. He is in a plus three adjustment area, but it's well above. Missed shot is corner kick. I think we'll get a new fact. I think we use that one. I'll click fact. <clears throat> Missed shot, it's goalkeeper outlet. So all I'll do is go down here and click right on this, and it goes change possession D. 36, 37, mm, excuse me. We have a defense check, and it's a block into the E zone. Click there. Loose ball tells us it's a turnover. So all I have to do is click on it. Again, we have the turnover. So we have a new player ID with an 11. It's a 2. It's a pass to the B zone. I'll click on B. So the idea being, if you don't have your player cards scanned in like I do, you would just go to that player 3 and check your result and say in this case it's a 45 you would check your card on your desktop get the 26 check it against your chart whether you use this chart or your APBA chart whatever chart you want to use you have a C then you just click on the result C and then you go to the next card 61 43 header D I'm gonna, so I would put in D. Whether you're looking at your card on the screen or on your desktop, it's still gonna be the same. D, we have a loose ball, it's a turnover. All I gotta do is click on it, and you've got your turnover. You got your new player identified, you look at card number eight, 43. You get your result of 48, it's a foul ID. Bring up my FAC, go to foul ID, and what it's gonna do, again, is gonna bring up Player 5's card for just about 5 seconds, just so I can check to see if there's a yellow or a red card. So here we go. Got to roll 56, and you can see it's not a red or yellow card. And then it goes back to the player. And then the direct kick is a shot on goal. So this is a kind of a not makeable shot, I guess, but we'll see. Roll of 21 is within a shot on goal. So we're going to get the shot on goal. Here we go. Brings up the goalkeeper card and the goalkeeper save chart. It's a 21. Resulting is a 3. And the 3 means rebound area D. So I'll click on D and then reference my loose ball chart. It says play on. That means there's no turnover. 44. It's out of bounds. So for out of bounds, rules say you do a throw in. The other team gets a throw in, and it's a possession change in the B zone. 33 is a 3, is a shot. Take my shot. 66 is out of the range, and missed shot is controlled by goalkeeper, goalkeeper outlet. Boom. So let's play, let's just go a few more uh, play sequences here. 27. That is going to be a pass to E. 34. 47 is offside. That's a throw in for the other team. Change possession. 32. 25. It's a pass to B. And so, okay, let's say he's got a shot on goal. Because I'm running out of time. i got to end this video. So let's take a shot on goal. A sh let's take a shot. Let's say it's within his range. I'm going to roll. I get it within his range. Okay. He gets a shot on goal. And let's say it's a 10. Say he scored. Then you would click on goal. And the player that was shooting would get the goal. You can see he scored. And you can see he gets the little soccer ball. And you can see that it's registered in the recap area. Okay, I have to cut this video off, and I will answer questions on the forum. Thank you.